Hey everyone, it's Joe from The Automator, and I'm talking to Jean Alon, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up, which of course I, I use, I can't tell you how many times per day I use that tool. It's an amazing tool. Yeah, Jean thank Alain, you, Joe. Yeah, um, and today we're going to discuss, it's a really interesting, which which I have the same um, issues, is we'll compile scripts, and then if you compile them with AutoHotKey and you distribute them, they'll get flagged if you don't do anything special. You get flagged as a virus and your whole website and whatever and everything. It's just people can't keep their scripts and stuff. So Jean's going to talk us through about why, how you can get around this, at least at, the, at a high level, um, and then what's actually going on with QAP at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, something that has to be done because before I install or distribute my software with a soft uh, certificate, it's a, it's called a code, code signing certificate. I had many, many users telling them, telling me that uh, they received uh, virus alerts or malware alerts when they were installing a quick access pop-up or folders pop-up, which was the ancestor of QAP. And uh, the only way to to eliminate almost completely these false alerts, because they, they were false alerts, of course, was to assign the software. So uh, distribute a file that is certified or verified as, be, as coming really from me and not being modified by someone else that could take my code and change it, put bad things in it and redistribute it under the same name. Uh, and if you uh, are... That way you could install Q what you think is QEP, but in fact would be a bad software. So um, it's uh, quite simple. The solution is to buy a software certificate. It's not something that you buy, it's something that you you rent or you pay every year. The service. Yeah. yeah. And why, why we're talking about that today is that uh, yesterday I received an email reminding me that I had to pay for the renewal of this certificate, which is done every three years. So you forget about that, but then yeah. you say, oh, I have to pay for this, uh, which is a $500 uh, expense for, for three years. And uh, so uh, uh, since QAP is now back to the freeware model, I'm asking users to help me paying for this expense. I, I mean, for users who didn't donate recently or users who didn't get a lifetime license when QAP was sold, those can consider they already helped me. But for others, a little $5, $10 will help me to uh, get the amount needed to renew this. But what we can do before is showing how you can make sure that when you install a software that it is a verified software. So I'll share um, an image here. So you see here, on the left here, there's uh, the prompt that you receive when you install a software. In fact, Windows is telling you that the software you want to install will change your system. Do you want to change your system? And the fact that this uh, prompt is with the color blue means that the software that you want to install is verified. It comes from a legit software distributor and you can see it, it's written here, verified publisher Jean Lalonde. If the software you install it does not have a certificate, is not signed or verified, you will have a yellow uh, window here. And then it, it's up to you to decide if you want to install it or not because the source of this software is not verified. So if you are pretty sure from where it comes from, for example, if you install auto at key from the auto at key website, it will be yellow because there's no certificate in this uh, file, but you can be sure it's okay, so you will install it. But from a source that you don't know, make sure that you have a blue prompt here and that it tells what is the verified publisher. And becoming a verified publisher is not easy. It's a lot right. of paperwork. You have to have uh, people signing that you are who you say you are. And there's a lot of stuff that being done. It's a few weeks or months process to get this for the first time. And when you get this certificate, me as a publisher, I now have a certificate that I can attach or embed in my executable files. And if you click on the, the file, if you right click on the file, uh, the, the quick access pop-up executable file, you can find this certificate here that we will tell you that is uh, what it is from where it comes. Uh, the certificate has been issued by Sectigo and it is valid up until September 18 of this year. So that's why I'm, I have to renew it before the 18 of uh, September. So, and, and so that's why I'm asking for your help. And um, I could show you, Joe, how you can contribute to this campaign. Yeah, I'll see it. Yeah, so I'll share. It's I, I built a small page on Indiegogo, which so 
Indiegogo is a website where you can uh, set up campaigns to collect money for projects. At the beginning, it was more for a cultural product uh, project, for example, uh, music recording or things like that. Uh, but it can be used for any type of projects. So here you have the page, uh, you have the URL of the page at the top of the, this video. And um, it's a page to prevent quick access pop-up malware, false alerts, because it's what you get if, you, if there would be no certificate. And uh, all you have to do is to click back it if you want to. There's a summary, there's explanation that you could take a look um, if you wish. And you click back it and then you put the amount that you want to contribute. It could be 5, 10, 15 or more if you wish. And you click continue and it will take you to uh, the, the credit card or the, the payment uh, page information. You can pay using uh, any credit card and also give a tip to Indiegogo to support this platform if you would like to do it, but it is optional. So that's how you can help me. And uh, that way it will, uh, you will be sure that you continue to receive the software that is clean, that really comes from me and that there's no risk when you install quick access pop-up. That's awesome, John. Yeah. And just keep in mind, you know, he, he, you've built this amazing tool that, that, like I said, I use all the time and it's frustrating to me that you didn't even want to charge, but here's the thing. You're paying $500, granted it's every three years, right? But um, you're paying over $100 a year to make things safe for people who are going to use this tool. And that's where- for free. He, yeah, for free, right. Yeah. Like, like not yeah. only counting the work, you all your time, but then you're out of pocket the money. Yeah. Right? It's just a- my time, I have fun doing that. And I have fun supporting users on the forum and answering questions and things like that. Uh, it's less fun to take $500 from your own pocket to pay for this. So that if you, <laughs> if you want to contribute to that, it will be appreciated. Yeah. So, um, so above my head here is a, it's just a short URL that you can easily get to that um, page. I'll put it in the description of the video too, or, or you can use the one that Sean did, but yeah, uh, we, we'd really appreciate anyone to help. Just help. And like you said, if you've already, if you paid for the program in the past or contributed in the past, he's not asking for money from you. If you're new to it and haven't contributed yet, consider donating. Um, Jean, you should be able to refresh your page. I, I made another little contribution just because <laughs> like I said, I, I use this tool I can't tell you how many times per day to me I use this tool um, and it's just, you know, it's an amazing tool. So thank you for your contribution and thank you for this video, uh, Joe. You bet, man. All right. okay. And check out um, other videos that I've done on QAP if you're, if you're new to it. It's, it's an amazing tool. Bye. Thank you.